Local artists are seeing red, reaching out to KXAN with concerns after finding stolen copies of their work online. Paintings turned into prints for profit, turning up on t-shirts, posters, even coffee mugs. KXAN's Kylie McGivern met with the artists who are working to raise awareness. For Robert Hurst, each stroke is like a sentence. I try to tell a story with it. A story with heart. You really have to feel the love of whatever it is that you're trying to create. The saying goes, art imitates life. But local painters found websites sharing imitations of their work. Suddenly, there's our images, and everybody has access to them. And uh, we're not seeing anything out of that. Hurst was first made aware of his work appearing on sites like T-Chip more than a year ago from fellow artists. The site allows users to sell what's supposed to be their own merchandise designs. Well, it's not our responsibility that we used your image that somebody else sent us. You know, we didn't know it wasn't yours. Every time that I've ever contacted them, I have gotten the same response. It's just like, okay, we're going to look into it. And then if it disappears, then it just reappears a few days later someplace else. All these companies are facilitating the, the sale of stolen property. Grego Anderson is facing the same struggle, staggering his days sending cease and desist letters. I'm a social media manager. I pack and ship things. I'm a webmaster, an SEO guy, a painter. And now I have to be an attorney and a watchdog. But there's no one to go to. Adam Mandel works with the nonprofit group Texas Accountants and Lawyers for the Arts and says these incidents are filled with challenges. In a lot of cases, these, these online service providers are going to be free from at least the monetary liability. As long as they take the content down. It's what I do is put a lot of different elements into one piece. Hurst is now in the process of also watermarking his hard work. Something Mandel says places more liability on the person stealing the images. I just want it to be known that this is going on and that a lot of other people are being affected by it. Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. KXAN first reached out to the website T-Chip a full month ago and followed up in an effort to learn more about how these cases are handled. We have not received a response.